Liz here with another craft, and I can't wait to get started on this one. I'm just itching to get at it. So, I know everybody's been wanting to know what it is. First, let me show you some of the pieces that we will need. A two-inch clay pot, and that's two inches across the top here. I had to get mine at Hobby Lobby. There's uh, six in a pack, and they were 50% off this week. I got this one in uh, the Dollar Tree weeks ago. I don't think they have any more, or maybe your Dollar Tree does. Mine doesn't. This is a three inch across the top clay pot. And this one I've had for a while. It's a uh, four inch clay pot. And then I couldn't find any saucers, so I had this one here from another pot that actually uh, got broken. So I'm going to use it, but we're going to use this side of it. So I'm going to go ahead, I've taped, I've put the blue painter's tape around these two. I don't want, I'm painting this blue and this white. So I'm going to put the tape around the smaller one. Now uh, this is probably going to be a longer craft. There's a lot of things that uh, we need to do to make this turn out nice. Or at least as nice as I have it in my head that it's going to turn out. Who knows what will actually happen. You never know. And there will not be a craft tomorrow. Um, we're going to take a little trip, but I will be back on Sunday. And on Sunday, I'll be back at noon Central Time. So, I'll hope to see you then. Okay, so we got all these taped off. And uh, there's just so many things to do, it's hard to know where to start. But, if you like this video and you know somebody that you think will like it, then please do this. And crafters call that sprinkling. So what I'm going to do is I have these little um, discs. These are little wooden discs. And let me just tell you how big they are. Now I've had these for a long time and um, probably got them from Hobby Lobby. So they're about a half of an inch. And then we have one of these, same thing, a wooden disc. And it's about one and a quarter inches. So we're going to paint these smaller ones and I'm not sure how many I'm going to need so I got several of them out and I'll just go ahead and paint them all. So I'm just going to paint the tops and around the edges if I can hang on to it. And I'm just going to give it one coat. So I'm going to get paint all over me. But you know what? That's part of the fun. I got one down. And I just wanted to do this whole craft uh, with you from beginning to end. So you can see exactly what to do. Now I... As soon as I do a craft, I do uh, upload it to um, to YouTube, and then I also upload it to Pinterest. And my Pinterest page is adorned adorned by Liz, and that's A D O R N E D by Liz. It used to be jewelry, but. Um, my latest board is is the craft board with the videos in it, the DIY craft videos. So we got three down. And maybe I should have done these ahead of time, I don't know. But if you stay with me, I think it'll be worth it. And you might want to make one of these for yourself. I've been thinking about it for quite a while. 
just didn't know exactly what I was going to do. I knew I wanted to make a lighthouse, but I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. Hi, Dave. Dave's my top fan. He shares my videos. Makes comments. So the more interaction you have on Liz's craft page, um, you'll start getting badges. I did turn that on. I didn't even realize, you know, I had that ability. But, uh, I do. And Dave is my top fan. Thank you, Dave. Of course, he's probably a little biased. He's my husband. Okay, so we only have three more to do. Just getting the extra paint off. So we have a lot of painting to do here. I hope you'll stick with me to the end so you can see what we come up with. One more. These are going to be our windows. Okay. So we have this big one and it's going to be our door. So we want to paint it black. promise it'll get more exciting once we uh, finish painting. Hi Holly, how are you? So we are making a lighthouse. Let me get some lights here. Okay, so I marked off on our tray bottom where I wanted to put the big pot, and it's going to go like this. So, I'm going to take Mod Podge, and we're going to sand this up. You know, I'm not going to put Mod Podge where my circle is. I'm going to put it outside of the circle. it to look like, um, you know, the beach. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges. So I'm going to put a little bit more on the top portion here. I don't 
think I got enough. And then I have this sand here that I got from the Dollar Tree, uh, not the Hobby Lobby. And it's just decorative filler sand. And I got it way back when for another project. So I have a tray here to catch the sand. And then I'm just going to pour it onto where I've Mod Podged. I guess I could have used a bigger tray. Okay, that looks pretty good. Try to pick this up. Oh, I think I should have planned this out better. Okay, so I just dumped the excess off, and this is what we have. So I'm going to set this aside, put the lid back on my sand. And I don't think I need my Mod Podge anymore, so I'm going to put the lid on it. Okay, now we need to paint the rims of our uh, pots. And we're gonna paint this. Oh, and this, this other color was buttercream folk art acrylic. That's what we did our little windows with to make it look like light was shining. And this is um, indigo from folk art. It's just acrylic paint. And these are just some old paints that I uh, accumulated. Like I said, with this, we're just painting the rim. And it doesn't matter if we, in fact, we'll go ahead and put it on the bottom here. And we're going to put it all the way to the tape. have to give this a couple coats because you can see the clay pot coming through okay so we're just going to set this aside and go to the next pot and again we're just using our indigo blue it's a dark blue. Now you can use what, whatever uh, colors you want. I uh, googled lighthouses so I could just look at a few to see what they look like. There's a lot of red and white ones. There's blue and white ones. There's black and white ones. So they're different colors. Actually they're different shapes. So there's just all kinds of them out there. Okay, so we got this one. And now we're going to do our, our baby one. A little baby. So I want to remind everyone that I would not be having a craft tomorrow. Um, we're going to be taking our granddaughter halfway to her mommy. And um, we're just not going to be here. But I will be here for a craft on Sunday, which will be noon central time. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay, so we're done with those. Well, no, we're not done with them. We're going to put another coat on. What am I thinking? So, let me just dry these. And I have a heat gun here. And it was bought at Harbor Freight. And this paint was already mostly dry, so you don't have to do it too much. You 
just a couple spots where it went on thicker. But you do want it to dry really well before you put on your next coat. If you don't, your uh, second coat will just peel up your first coat. Trust me, I've been there, done that. And when you're doing your heat gun, make sure you don't burn your fingers. It gets pretty hot. I usually use the lower temperature. Okay. So, we're going to go with our second coat. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to put it in the comments, even if you're watching it on replay. If you're on here, um, you know, tell me where you're watching from. And if you think you would, if this is something that you might try. Okay, this coat looks really good. And the pots are four inches, three inches, and two inches. And that's measured at the top. This one looks real good. And then we have our baby one, which really, that doesn't need another coat. That one's okay. So we didn't even need that one, a second coat on that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off of this one. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Nice and crisp. The way I like it. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, Anita's All Purpose Acrylic White Paint. <clears throat> I got it at Hobby Lobby when it was 30% off. And um, let me get another brush. See how this one does. I'm going to go ahead and paint the little one. And you don't need to paint this part right here. That's going to be covered up. Actually, with this one, you do need to paint it. I'm sorry. That's the top. You don't have to do it to the other ones. And then I think I'm actually going to clean this other brush that had the blue on it and use it so I can get around the, the blue part area of it so I don't... This brush leaves brush marks and this one looks better. So... Let me, oops. Hopefully it won't be, the blue won't show through. I guess we'll find out. So I'm just being careful, trying not to get it on my blue. Looks like I did get some blue bleed through on the brush, but uh, I think it'll be okay with our second coat. And if it's not, you know, it gives it an, a different kind of look. It's not bad. Try to get this a little 
little bit better up around the edge. Here we go. This is the first coat. You know, we need to see if this one is dry. It needs a little bit of heat to it, especially at the top, the rim of it. our tape off. I'm liking the way it looks. Okay, I can't get this piece of tape off my finger. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I'm just going to put my hand in here. I should have done that to the other one. Now this one and the larger one do not need the bottom part painted. They're actually going to be sitting inside of each other. There's our first coat. And we're going to check on the larger one. It's dry. Take the paint, I mean the tape off. Looks good. Looks real good. Again, I'm just going to put my hand in here that way for easy turning. Do you like this project? If you do, can you give me a thumbs up or a heart? And if you haven't already done so, you can um, follow Liz's craft page or you, and like it and turn on your notifications if you want to know when I go live. And also, um, if you make any of the crafts that I have videos for, I would appreciate it if you would take a picture and post it on Liz's craft page. I like to see what others do with the ideas that I put out there for you guys. And I did put the link to the chalk paste in the description. Um, the stencil that we're using is from another company and if you would like the link to that just put a uh, link please or link or whatever in uh, your comment and I'll be sure to uh, give you the link to someone that I know that um, sells it. Okay, so this one is dry and we're going to put our second coat on it. And like I say, if some of the blue shows through, I'm okay with that. Uh, of course, if you're not okay with it and you're making your own, make sure you use a different brush for each of your paints. Okay, 
I think this looks pretty good. And you can see some of the blue swirls in there. I'm liking it. Okay, I'm going to heat this one up. forgot to put my second coat on the top. What was I thinking? Okay, got it. We are good. Oh, and this brush, um, I really like it actually. It came from the Dollar Tree. It's a set of two. It's this one here, and then one that is teeny, teeny, tiny brush in. And when I say teeny, tiny, I mean teeny, tiny. But I might have to get me some more because it is one of my favorite brushes. So you get both brushes in a package for a dollar. Can't beat that. And it is a really nice brush. And the, the little one, I didn't think I'd ever use it, but I have used it to uh, make some corrections when I mess up on a stencil. So it does come in handy. Here we go with the medium size. Liking it. Now we need to do our large one. And again, I'm just going to heat it up. Make sure it's totally dry. And then after this, we get to the fun part. Painting seems like a necessary evil, kind of, even though that's fun, too. But the fun part is putting it all together. That's what I like. Putting it all together. And like I said, this is going to be a long video, and if you can't stay for the whole one, um, don't forget you can always watch the replay. They're in the video section on Liz's craft page, and uh, I will also be uploading it to YouTube. And I'm putting it on Pinterest. And uh, the name of my Pinterest is uh, Adorned by Liz, and that's A-D-O-R-N-E-D -E by Liz. And then I put a board for DIY craft projects. And that's where the video will be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry this one. I think this, the big one's going to need three coats, I'm sorry, three coats of the acrylic paint. It's really soaking it in, this clay pot is. I don't know what the difference is.
between the three pots. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to dry it. Now, what you could have done um, is once you painted the blue on, let it dry overnight and then put your tape on the blue portion so the white portion doesn't get on your blue and it'll uh, get you a better, uh, a crisper line on your pot. I mean, I don't think mine is bad or anything. It's just not as crisp as it could be. to decide which part I want to be the front. So I think I'm going to go with this right here. It looks a little bit better. And I'm going to put glue all around the lip of um, my pot and then I'm going to put it right here on my um, tray. So I need a stick of glue. Let's hope we can do this quickly so it doesn't dry before we get it on. And I am using a low temperature hot glue gun because I tend to burn myself and get blisters. So I did tr put this on here earlier and then traced around it with a pencil so that I would know where to put my sand and then where to put my pot. Okay, that seems to have worked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue on the inside of this pot around here. Just a little bit like right in here. We're going to go all the way around and we're going to put a good amount just like that and we're going to set it on top of here. Is it starting to look like a lighthouse? I'm thinking it is. And then we're going to do the same thing here, only we're going to put it closer to the lip. Because it doesn't go down as far as the other one did. Okay, and you want to remove your glue strings. Now, we want to work on our door. And I need a smaller brush. Where's that little one? I don't see it. Hmm. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, I think this one will work. 
So I'm going to dip this in the white and we're just going to make a line down the center and put two little doorknobs on. And hopefully I could do a straight line. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm just going to go ahead and blow that off. I need to put it down. I need to decide if I want it up here or down here. I'm guessing down here. That would be my guess. And then I want to do a little bit of the black. Since this got a little. Some little spots on it. And of course, I'm going to have to dry it again. That's good. So I'm going to put it right here. So this is what we have so far. Now we're going to take care of our windows. And what I'm doing with those is I have my black Sharpie. I'm just going to trace around the edges. plus sign in there. Make it look like this. And this is the, sh the type of Sharpie, I'm sorry, I'm using. It says fine point. Now since I don't really know how many of these I'm going to use, I'm just going to do like two at a time and um, go from there. side. So what we have so far. Somebody said you could take your heat gun to the glue string. That's true, they just kind of melt away. Okay, so I'm going to do two more. And again, I'm just going around the edges and then putting a plus sign in the center. And that's for division on the window panes.
Okay, let's see where we're going to put those. Yeah, it seems like that. And then I think on the top one, I'm just going to do one. So make sure when you're gluing them on, you have your window panes correct. Make sure it's the plus sign. Okay, I'm going to do one more for the top part. of these um, leaf strings. Now I am going to add our rocks. So we have these rocks here. My daughter gave these to me, but uh, they have these types of rocks in the Dollar Tree. I think you can also get them in Hobby Lobby and uh, Walmart. So, I'm just gluing them around just like this. I'm just going to do the top portion. And I had already um, laid them out to where I wanted them to be. so that I would know uh, how I was going to glue them on. Okay, we need another glue stick. Okay, now I'm going to start on this other side here. a good amount of glue on the rocks. You know, I had this one. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put that on. It does kind of block the door a little bit, but, you know, that's okay. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And tons of glue strings, glue hairs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, we're going to try this again, and I guess I shouldn't pick it up like that. I'm going to make sure that my windows match up. So note to self, do not pick it up by here. Pick it up from the bottom. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Alrighty. So the next thing I was going to do is I'm going to use this stencil here, Be the Light, Matthew 514. And I thought that would go well with the lighthouse. And um, these stencils do not need to be fuzzed prior to using them. And I'm just going to put it on the side here of the bottom, the bottom portion. So this is what I have, and I'm going to use my black chalk paste. It's cold black, and all the chalk paste are, um, hi Shannon, are um, in stock right now, and I put the link in the description. Now this stencil is not one from Magnolia, it's from a different company, but I do know someone who uh, sells these, so if you want the link to it, uh, just put link 
in the comments, even if you're watching uh, the replay, and I will get that information to you. So I just put the excess back in my jar. I'm gonna put that up, and then here's the reveal. Oh, it kind of smeared a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. And since this is just for me, I'm gonna leave it. I could um, wipe this off and start over. But uh, I'm not going to do it here. If I do decide to do it, I will uh, do it offline and then take a picture of it. So I thought um, we could put some of this rope around it. Now I'm not sure about this, but I'll have to see what it's going to look like. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. Right now it's 50% off, and it was over in the, um, like where the florals are. So I thought the color would go well with um, our blue and white. But I'm thinking I might not like it. What do you guys think? With, with the rope? Or without the rope and I would put it on just these two I want to put it on the bottom or if I did I would have to take the door off so let me know in the comments with or without hey Tracy hi Joanne can you guys let me know should I do the rope or leave it off I'm not sure what I should do. Can you let me know? Anybody? Somebody? Okay, Joanna said, hi, rope. Okay, well then we're going to go with the rope. I'm just going to take this and see how it goes. I am going to put some hot glue on the end of this so it doesn't ravel anymore. And then I'm going to attach the rope to the back. this back on. All right. Got the end going. Gonna hold this for a couple seconds. Oh my goodness. It's falling apart. You might have to use this is just plain um, glue stick from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if um, Gorilla Glue sticks would be any better. It's much better than what I thought you were going to make. Oh, thanks, Joanna. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a little embarrassing. 
that's okay. We'll fix it. Sometimes the um, glue, glue just doesn't want to stick to things. You have to do it like three or four times. And then another thing you can do is heat it up with the glue gun and then reattach it. And sometimes that helps. So I'm going to try that again. Put it on the high setting though. I have quite a bit of glue in there. So this way I'm not wasting more glue. And sometimes this actually works. So, let's get this back on. Alright. Get another glue stick. You will be using a lot of glue sticks. And it might work better with the um, the high temperature glue gun. I'm just using the low temperature, so that could be an issue too. So I'm just going to hold this for a few seconds. right here. I'm going to put some hot glue on the end so it doesn't ravel and then we're going to glue it down. Okay, we're done with that part. Where did I put on? Oh, okay. Just wondering where I put my stencil. It's on the water. I did good. Okay, so we're still not done with this, but we have our light from the Dollar Tree. I don't need this bottom part. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the tab. And then I'm going to hot glue it here, and I'm going to wrap the rope around it. And I'm hoping that it will stay, especially with the rope around it. I did say I was done with the rope, but I'm not. I lied. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put some more glue on the end. going to wrap it around here. I'm going to put glue on the top of the uh, pot and on the light itself. And I'm putting quite a bit on it. I'm just going to hold it. Look at all these glue strings. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Put 
to the glue on the end. Put a little bit more there and tuck this in. I had plans to put some of this moss. You know, I got this at um, the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to randomly put some in between the rocks. I used a lot of brushes today. just going to put little bits in there. And I'm going to need another glue stick. And this one even has a little twig in it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Put that right in there. Look, it looks like a bare tree. bit over here. And then some. I better get it ready first. I'm just tearing off little bits. Okay, this is what we have so far. I'm just going to continue around. I'm going to leave the door part open. I'm not going to put any there. Put a little bit in the back here behind this last rock. Okay, and this stuff will make a mess, so be prepared. Put a little bit in there. better. Okay, and I got one more little spot. Okay, what do you guys think so far? If you like it, um, give me either a thumbs up or a heart. And what is Dave saying? Can't see your hands as you're working on this. Okay, sorry. Thank you for the feedback. Okay, now I thought we could put a little fence around the top part here. I did see some of them with fences on it. Oh, thank you for the hearts. This I got in the ribbon section too. Thanks, Joanna. Um, it was also 50% uh, off and it was $3.99. And it's called, well, it doesn't say what it's called, but it's kind of like chicken wire. And it is actual wire. So I'm going to put that around here, and hopefully I can figure out a way to keep it on there. And I don't see if I can cut it with my scissors. And I might only need about half of it instead of the whole, the whole length of, I mean the whole width of it. Oh yeah, you could cut that with your scissors, no problem. So, well, maybe I could use the whole thing. What do y'all think? Should I cut it down? You saw my hands? Thanks. <laughs> I think I'll leave the whole thing there. Let me see. Maybe I could do it, fold it in half. No, I like the whole thing. 
Okay, so I'm going to try to hot glue this on here. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I'm going to try it. And I'm just putting the glue on the rope. Actually, I want it to go this way. And you can bend it. Just need to hold it and make it stay. stuck. Okay. Here we go. Might need to cut it a little more. But I did see some lighthouses that um, had like a, I don't know, a guard or a fence or whatever around the top part. So since I already had this wire, I thought it would be a cute idea. And I think I'll just overlap it instead of cutting it. Come on, you gotta stay on there. Put a little more hot glue over here. There we go. And then I'll try to tuck the ends in. See, Dave, Joanna saw my hands. So I'm just bending these ends and then I'm tucking them in where it overlaps into the, um, the previous portion. Okay, let's see. Okay guys, I think we're done. Let me um, put my hot glue, hot, my heat gun on this. It's supposed to take care of the um, the glue hairs. It might clean off my table too. So what it actually does is just melt the glue hairs. So let's see if I can move this without tearing it up. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let me lift this up a little bit. <gasps> I knew that was going to happen. I felt it. Let me put this back on. Don't pick it up that way. Also use uh, E6000 along with the hot glue. I just don't have mine out right now. So let me tilt the <laughs> now. Okay, there's our door, our windows, our light. When I get this outside, hopefully the sun will shine on it and then tonight it'll come on. I'm going to put it on the front porch. We have our um, stencil be the light, Matthew 5, 14. And I'm just going to leave it that way. I'm not going to change it. So, like I said, if this inspires you to make one of these, this is a 2-inch pot, a 3-inch pot, and these are clay pots, and a 4-inch pot. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, the Our Dollar Tree doesn't have them anymore. And then get you one of the bottom plates, 
uh, I had to use one from the front porch from a broken pot because our Hobby Lobby didn't have one. And this was from uh, the Dollar Tree, the light, the solar light. This wire was from uh, Hobby Lobby. The rope was from Hobby Lobby. These were old ones that I had, but I know you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Of course, the stencil was from a different company. Your paints all come from Hobby Lobby, Dollar or uh, Walmart, wherever you get your acrylics. And the stones you can get at Hobby Lobby uh, or the Dollar Tree. And the sand, I got it at the Dollar uh, I got it at Hobby Lobby, but you can also get uh, get it at the Dollar Tree. So that's about it, and I will not be here tomorrow. Um, well, I will be back Sunday at noon. So I'll have I'll, I'll think of something for us to do. So until then, keep crafting. Bye.